What we're gonna do now is gonna work on the jab, okay? And the, the jab where we say our, our front hand, okay? That is this punch here. We're gonna work on that, but moving forward, okay? Because we can stand still, but we're gonna work on that jab with our forward and back movement, all right? And Tommy's gonna to demonstrate. Find your stance, Tommy. Get your structure right. And nice and slow, go forward with the jab. Again, again, again. And you'll notice, like you did before, very short steps, bending the knees, and the left hand is coming out as he steps with his left foot, and the right foot comes up as the hand comes back in. And it's the opposite when we go backwards. If we go backwards, again, again, again. forward and back and now we're going to do our side move movements with the jab. Alright, so Tommy, we're going to move left and right. And left, short steps, bent knees, and you'll notice the structure up here does not change. Alright, we want to keep that as simple as we can and let our opponent, we don't want our opponent to know what we're doing. We don't want to be changing our body movement too much, okay? All right, what I want, what I want to, uh, to focus on when you are moving left or right is to make sure that you move that left foot first, okay? And don't move your back foot first and take those short steps. Same when you move this way, make sure you move your right foot first and don't move your left foot. And you can see that I'm crossing over here and getting uh, my feet are getting a little bit tangled, okay? One of the things you need to understand when you're moving forward and back and left and right, that if I get interrupted, as I step forward, I maintain my distance here. If I go backwards and get interrupted, it's the same. If I move left and get interrupted, I can work in that. If I go right and interrupted, I can work in that as well. But if I do the opposite, I can't work in this space, okay? If I go back and do this, I can't work in this space. If I do this when I step this way, I can't work when my feet are like that. And the same as if I move to the right. So it's very important that you think about when I get interrupted. When I get interrupted. So now we're moving with our jab forward and back and left and right. Now we want to do is create a bit more interest and, and, and actually practice different variations of that. So what we're going to do is go forward and what we're going to do is just do a slow advance without punching and then punch. Without and with. Same backwards. With the punch, without, with, without. Same as we move left, with the punch, without, with, step right, without, with. All right. The next variation is, we're going to get onto that line again there, Tommy. We're going to move two jabs forward. All right, so we're going to do two in a row. Two, nice and slow. Two back. Two left. Two right. Good, back on the line there, Tommy. Do three forward. Back. And you'll notice his right hand is always still. His hand is not dropping or moving. We're going to keep that structure of that hand. We go left. Right. Good. Back on the line. The last variation is a one step on each. Forward. One step. Back. Left. Right. Okay. And you could do mix up ones, twos, threes. You can uh, only step forward, only step back. Um, you can do four jabs forward, four jabs back. It's up to you, but that's how you start mixing it up and we're only throwing one punch. Wait till we get to the others. There's another step um, for you to keep practicing at home. Uh, get on our Bobby Dunn's uh, Boxing Gym YouTube channel and subscribe. Uh, and also get on our Facebook and Instagram um, to see all our catalogue of videos. And look forward to seeing you again.